Hello and welcome to Black Belt Project for Getting Things Done. My name is Michael Kuhn and in this episode we're going to talk about inboxes. Now I'm assuming that you have been doing getting things done for a while but it's also possible you might be just getting started. In either case I think it's important to sit down and analyze where your work comes from in the form of your inboxes. What I would do is analyze each and every source of inbox that you've got. Now the one that we think of the most readily is your inbox that you set on your desk. But we also have other inboxes, for example, your mailbox, your voicemail box, uh, text messages. So there are lots of inboxes that you probably at first glance don't think are inboxes, but really they serve that purpose. They're collecting stuff for you. So when you're first getting started, rather than trying to collect all of the backlog that you've got, and try and throw it in your physical inbox, the very first thing I would do is identify what inboxes you have. And once you've done that, try and eliminate as many as you can. Try and get away with as few inboxes as possible. Now in my case, I know I've got well over a dozen inboxes, which is probably too many, but I can't really consolidate them any further. And probably where you could realize the most consolidation might be if you have several email accounts, you could probably run them all into one. For example, I do that with Yahoo email, and I have several email accounts, and I just funnel all those into one account. In addition to your inboxes, you're also going to have your capture tool. I know I use Spiral 3.5 index cards for my collection tool, and I also use my BlackBerry, and those work hand-in-hand. Uh, -hand. I try and use my um, Spiral index cards maybe when I'm taking messages on the phone, so I've got a place to collect those. But identify all your inboxes, try and reduce them to the fewest number possible. After you've done that, I would make a checklist of all of your inboxes so that you've identified each one and you have a list of them. And once you have a list of them, then you know what you're going to need to clean out as far as your processing goes. Uh, the goal in Black Belt Project for Getting Things Done would be to empty those inboxes on a daily basis. Now if you told me when I first started that I'd be able to do that, I'd be really surprised. But believe it or not, having worked with the system for quite a while, it is possible. So if you keep at it and you start small, and I'm going to show you how to do that, you're going to find out that you can also get down to uh, zero in all your inboxes, which is an amazing thing. And once you get there, you're going to want to keep it there. Now, once you got your inboxes set up, you're going to want to make a commitment to make sure that any kind of work you get, anything you need to process, goes through those inboxes and reduce uh, any kind of leakage so that you know, you're not putting stuff in the car, putting things on uh, the kitchen counter. Make sure that anything you got, you run through the identified inboxes that you uh, have listed. In addition, make sure that as far as your inboxes go, that anybody that gives you anything, that they try and put it in your inbox instead of laying it around so that uh, you might lose it. Either have them send you an email with the information, uh, or if you're talking to them, they tell you make sure you capture it right away so that you can tear that sheet of paper off and put it in your inbox. So I think you'll find that if up front, you've identified your inboxes and made a checklist of them, uh, you're going to go a long way to making sure that you reduce the amount of uh, stuff, so to speak, that gets misplaced and lost and you should forget about. So once you get those inboxes identified, that to me is the first step to make sure your system is off to a good start. After your inboxes are set up and after you've listed them and you've made a commitment to get everything in there, the next step is to start working a plan to make sure that we can get them down to zero. At first that's going to be a daunting task and it's not going to happen right away. It's going to be easier with some inboxes than others. Uh, your physical inbox will probably be the last inbox that you can get down to zero, but it will be possible if you keep working on it. And so after we've set up our inboxes, the next step is going to be setting up the, uh, if you've seen the workflow sheet that David Allen has on his website, basically the additional buckets to put the things that you process. And after you set those up, then I would worry about collecting any kind of material 
to go into the system. So start with your inboxes. In the meantime, visit blackbeltproject.com for more information and good luck in processing uh, everything that comes through your inboxes. Thanks and have a great day.